Hello, again, thank you for joining me. This is our video number six in a series, again, sorry with AutoCAD, and gosh, I thought we'd be starting modeling by now, but I guess we're not going to do that for a little bit, but we're getting everything pretty well set up so that when we start modeling, we don't have to worry about this title block stuff anymore. We have it pretty well set in stone, although a title block is designed so that when we do a different drawing for a different project, we can go into the title block and change the information in that title block in order to reflect what's going to be in our design that we're going to be modeling and drafting. So what we need, what we have here is a fairly uh, complete uh, D-size uh, template. We're going to create an A-size template. So the way we do that is we're going to right-click on the Layout tab down here and go to uh, Move or Copy. And what we want to do is go to the checkbox uh, that says Create a Copy, and we're going to move it to the end. And there it is. There it is. They're identical to each other, just one identical copy to each other. But if you double-click inside of that, or right click and go to rename oh, <laughs> yeah, that make it look easy let's go ahead and delete that and uh, put in a descriptor of a size oh, <clears throat> layout very similar to the D size layout so it's fairly easy to read for you so a dash size and then layout now that doesn't change anything, it's still identical if you go back and forth between those two. So what we have to do is, uh, if, if you can guess that, uh, we're going to have to make modifications to it. And the way you do that is you right click on that tab, go to uh, Page Setup Manager. And yes, we don't want to, we want to, because it's already selected, it's selecting this for us, but we want to modify the ASS layout and go to the Modify button. So we're going to start from the top and kind of move our way down. The printer, my printer here is uh, is different from yours, and so I can just select the printer. But in the lab, I believe it's a 6015 printer or the 40 or the 4015 printer. I think for now the 4015 printer would be okay, but the 6015 printer also gives the option of printing half size sheets, 11 by 17, ANSI B size, whereas the 4015 printer is just 8 and a half by 11. So you can make your choice. Uh, either one would be fine. As we scroll down, paper size, architectural D, you want to make sure that it says ANSI A, or 8.5 eight by 11 inch. You want to make sure it says landscape too. So let's scroll down and find the appropriate size. So here it is. ANSI A, 11 inches across the bottom, 8.5 tall. That's going to be the landscape type. What do you want to plot? You want to plot the extents. So everything that we see in paper space is going to be plotted. And uh, we don't want to center the plot. We want to make sure that the plot is in the lower left-hand corner. And we want to make sure a scale is a one-to-one -one scale. So when it uh, prints out, when it prints out, it's going to be one-to-one. Uh, -one. It's going to print out exactly as eight and a half by eleven inch. We want to make sure that everything gets printed in paper space is a one-to-one -one scale. It's the viewport window that we're going to scale so that everything we draw full size in model space gets scaled in the viewport window. That concept is a test question, so make sure you understand that, and we'll cover that a little bit more in class. So go to OK, and go to Close, and what you see here is uh, the, the paper right there in the middle. And our title block, which is really big, a lot bigger than the paper is, we need to scale that down. So let's go ahead and uh, go back to our Page Setup Manager, and just to make sure we have this correct, we don't want to make sure it's centered. And when we do that, I apologize for this, I didn't catch this before, we want to make sure we have zero and zero. So everything is in the lower left-hand corner. It just makes it a little bit easier to scale. So starting from the top, your printer, 6015, paper size, ANSI A, extents, you probably don't have to change that. X and Y coordinates uh, need to be zero, zero. Uncheck the center of the plot, make sure the scale is one to one, and then go to OK. And then close. Okay, here's our block. Here's another concept in, uh, in AutoCAD, and that is going to be the scaling uh, command. We're going to select that block, and we're going to scale it. So this is what we do, just like with the copy command we did a couple videos ago, we're going to go to the scale command, and we're going to scale that little guy, that big guy actually. So go to the scale, click on that, and do this for me. Type in 0 comma 0 on the command line. Or if you uh, have right by the cursor, you can see the, the numbers there. Press enter. And what we're going to do is we're going to create this at one third, or not a third, but three tenths of, uh, of the size it is right now. So when it asks for a scale factor, type in 0.3.
Enter. Now that tile block is within the size paper that we need. Okay, you need to review that again. I think it probably will. We'll need to. I'll go ahead and do that. And I'm going to start doing uh, video number seven.